Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, and my name is Jay, and today I will be showing you how to get a plus 25 weapon fast. To begin, let's sculpt that perfect jawline and head on out to that sweet, beautiful open world. And right out the gate, we have our first smithing stone one just at the smithing table. Collect torrent and ride on down south. Along the Bridge of Sacrifice, we will find a few more smithing stone ones. Continuing along the trail in a group of enemies is our first smithing stone two. Just after going up the elevator in Castle Morn, we will get our second plus two smithing stone. Return to the gate front and ride to Stormhill Shack. From here, head southeast-ish and you will find a group of chairs for our next few smithing stones. Make your way over to the giants and have one break this statue here. Inside will be the remaining plus one smithing stones we need and another plus two smithing stone. At this point, we should have all 12 of our plus ones and three plus twos. After collecting all of this, we next make our way to the Lakes of Lunaria. From here, head to the Lascar Ruins, grab the plus three and use the teleporter. This will bring us to the Gates of the Academy. Hop on down and collect the next few plus two smithing stones, and once again return to the academy. From here we want to run through all of the enemy fortifications collecting the plus three stone. And continuing along, jumping off the walls to say hi to our crab friend and a few more smithing stones. While we're here, we'll grab the golden seed and then make our way southwest and collect the final plus two smithing stones we need. We should now have enough for a plus seven weapon. Next, we want to collect the two halves of the Dectus medallion and make our way up the Grand Lift to the Atlas Plateau. Run through all the enemies, making your way to the Atlas Tunnel. Grab this Miner's Bell Bearing. With this, we can purchase plus three and plus four smithing stones. With a little bit of rune farming, we can get ourselves a plus 12 weapon. Return to the Atlas Tunnel and collect all of the plus five smithing stones. Now within the Atlas Tunnel, there is a breakable statue. Get the Iron Virgin over here to break it and we will collect a few plus six somber smithing stones. After collecting all of the smithing stones, head to the Dragon Burnt Ruins and get caught in the teleporter trap. This will send you to the Celia Crystal Tunnel. In here, we want to first grab the Grace and from there, collect the remaining plus five smithing stones that we need. Collect for yourself the Academy Glintstone Key and enter the Academy. While we are here, you can grab yourself a pair of pants. Make your way to our free teleporter and head on to the Volcano Manor. First, we want to progress normally through this area towards the first Site of Grace. But this is important, do not light the Site of Grace. Instead, keep running on through and over to this plus six smithing stone. And once you get here, either die or return back. Once back to our original starting point, we will now do some parkour off a cliff and over on a nearby rooftop will be our next couple of plus six smithing stones. From here, we want to swim through the lava and make our way over to this pot guy and collect the next few plus six somber smithing stones. 
make our way back and head over to the elevators. First, we want to head on down. And behind the magma worm is a plus seven smithing stone. Collect that and head on up. Activate the bridge and head on across. On this rooftop, we will find our next smithing stone plus six. Return to the bridge, perform some parkour to skip the godskin boss. And make your way to the volcano manor. Head up stairs and collect our next plus six smithing stone. Return to the Atlas Plateau and make your way over to Azernia Hero's Grave. Just north of it, there will be this breakable statue. Get the Rune Bear over here to collect your final plus six smithing stones. Return to Kaled, and on top of this giant rock, we will find two plus sevens and one plus eight smithing stone. I highly recommend at this point getting our weapon up to plus 19 if you haven't already, because we will have to finally actually fight a boss. Return to the Celia Crystal Tunnel and defeat the Falling Star Beast. It's a bit of a challenge. If you don't want instant bleed, I recommend you put on your armor. But after defeating him, we will gain five more plus seven smithing stones, bringing our weapon to a plus 20. Sadly, this is as far as we can get without heading into the capital. So. Get yourself a little boss rush going on. and enter Laernia. From here, make your way to the subterranean shunning grounds. Progress your way through the pipes until we are able to jump into this section of pipes. Explore the area past this gate here. To be completely honest, I get super lost when I'm down here, but just beside this enemy that tries to ambush you will be our next plus eight smithing stone. And to the left of this scabbard on a gate will be four plus seven smithing stones. With this, we will be able to have a plus 22 weapon. Only a couple more to go. And that means a few more bosses. Bonk them down and make your way to the mountaintops of the giants. Cross the scariest bridge in existence and head on down to the entrance of Castle Soul. From here, we want to ride our way back to the Deathbird, avoiding it and start making our way to the rocks here. We want to perform some special horse parkour to land on top of this platform. From here, take a great leap of faith, trying not to land on the rocks. When some funky slide animations happen, you'll know you've done this jump right. And what should pop up is a message asking you if you want to respawn at a Shrine of Marika. You want to do that. And so we have now made our way down to the consecrated snowfield. Grab yourself a Sight of Grace, collect the next plus eight smithing stone just behind the tree here where you find the map. Our next smithing stone eight will be found across the river on this corpse by a tree. Next, make your way to Yulg, Yulg, something annex tunnel. Inside, collect the last eight plus eight smithing stones you will need. 
Be careful, they are pretty hard to miss, so you might have to run through the tunnel again just to make sure you have them all. Finally, within this tunnel is an ancient dragon smithing stone. Return to our blacksmith and there you have it, a plus 25 weapon. If you found this video helpful in any way possible, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to see more content from me, uh, make sure you also subscribe. Uh, until next time.